What's up guys? Today we're jumping into the M340 um, mainly because I have a vent that is apparently broken. So we're gonna dive into it and see if we can get that fixed. Okay, so if you look right here on the driver's side vent, this is completely disconnected to the little key that attaches all three of these together. So if you look over here, all three of these move in unison. This one is by itself. Now, if I, can, I don't know if I, you guys can see, but right down in here, you can barely see the actual piece that connects these three. Um, somehow it just fell off. There's three little pins, one, two, and three, they connect onto, and somehow it fell off. So I have no idea, but it should be simple. Actually, I can feel it right there. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There it is but it's literally just sitting right there. Um, hard to get to, I can't really, there it is, it's a great shot. So um, in order to do that, I need to get to the back side, which this whole piece needs to come off. So we're gonna dive into that and see if we can't get this fixed. So first thing first, in order to get to here, we need to pull this whole bellow off. Um, so first thing is to remove this plastic piece, which um, all you gotta do is take, uh, preferably a plastic um, trim tool um, starting here, I start with the plastic usually, pop it off, there's one, two, three clips. So pop these out, work your way down carefully, and then it pivots out and pulls away from the weather stripping, and then you can access that. Um, and before you guys say anything, I know I'm wearing the, the big stupid mechanics gloves, I ran out of the nitro gloves, it happens, so we're using the big gloves today. Okay, so as you guys can see, one, two, three, and four. Once those are popped out, you can finagle this. I would say the word easy, but it's more so finesse. And then once that slides out, this whole piece comes out. So one, two, three, four. So now that's set aside. Now we can start working from here. As you can see, that one clip back there, and this pops out carefully. And then we're gonna work our way all the way down to here. So this whole unit, comes out as one. Okay, so as I'm working my way down, there's one here, one there. You can see how it slides into that little port. And then I was right there with a third one right here. And you can see how it starts to separate because this whole thing is one piece. So once again, I'm continuing to walk down all the way to the end. And then you can see how it starts to separate here and then separate here. And then we're gonna slowly Pull this off as one unit and I will show you guys that in one second. Okay so now that I've popped this off you guys can see that third clip right there the whole thing comes out as one unit. So now that that's done let me change positions so that we can start disassembling this vent so that I can hopefully get this uh, get this working again. Okay so now let me see, there we go. Okay, so now we pull this off. You can see there's one, two Torx bits. We're gonna pull those off. And I don't quite remember, but I think those should release it. That's the adjuster pin. Okay, so these two Torx bits, um, and then we'll see where that goes. So there is a little wire that goes right alongside there. So you wanna make sure you're careful with that.
Well, as you can see, I've got the vent off. Um, that was the piece that was in there that was rattling. And as you can see, that has a um, bracket on the end of this vent shutter. And this one is completely, if I can get it to focus, sheared off. Should be there, but it's not. So I'm not sure how that happened, but it's broke. So this piece cannot connect between one, two, and three. So I have to order a new one and then we'll put this back on. Okay, so everything's back together, ready to go. Um, one thing to note, start from this side, put those two clips in, and then all the rest of the clips will fold in. I made that mistake at first, but start with those two, and the rest just pop in pretty easy. Um, as you can see, all that work for this little guy, and I just come to find out that one of these on the vents was actually sheared off don't know how that happened so need to get another one of these pieces i guess i'm not sure i'll look that up uh, a lot of work um, to come to find out that can't even replace it anyway so not a big deal but the fact that a um, little more experience on taking the dash apart because there are a couple mods i want to do maybe do some carbon fiber pieces something like that on this and that was a good practice just to pull the dash on and off so not a total loss of about 45 minutes, but uh, a little bit frustrating. Um, so maybe I'll order these carbon fiber parts, see if they come in. Maybe, maybe just see what the uh, the wait time is, because I do have the G80 M3 on order. So if it's going to be close to that, then I'm obviously not going to do that. Then I'll just trade this in. So either way, hope that helped you guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.